the reactive strength index is a useless metric. The reactive strength index or the RSI is supposed to be a measure of explosive strength and demonstrates how athletes perform plyometric activities. It's really just a ratio involving two metrics, how high you can jump and how fast you can jump. This is typically measured by dropping off of a box at a given height and jumping as high as you can and as quickly as you can upon landing. Typically measured using a jump mat or some other device. The problem with this test is that it doesn't actually give us any useful information about athletes that we didn't already know. Research has not demonstrated that reactive strength index is a strong correlate to other key performance indicators. So when we see someone with a good reactive strength index, we would expect them to have the ability to accelerate and decelerate well and make strong powerful cuts on the field of the Court. But we don't need a reactive strength index to see that. We can just watch them play the game and get that information. And if someone seems to be lacking reactive strength in their sport, it's probably multifactorial, caused by things other than just physical qualities. So my next point on why the reactive strength index is useless is that it's just a ratio. You can have a really good reactive strength index because of how quickly you jumped off the ground, even if you don't jump very high. You could essentially perform it like a pogo jump. Therefore, you're not truly measuring your capabilities of jumping high and fast. Because to truly jump as high as you can is going to require some level of counter movement dip. My next point is that the test isn't reactive, it's preactive. You already know the height you're dropping from. You can predict the spot on the ground that your feet are going to land, what you determine as optimal body position upon landing. This is how you're going to approach the test. You don't have the luxury of doing this in sports when you actually have to react. Now my last point here is that I've heard the argument that the reactive strength index allows you to determine proper box height when you want to perform depth jumps in training. That just isn't necessary true for everyone. Box height is going to be determined by the goals of the training session and of the athlete. And there's no evidence to suggest that certain box heights are more effective in the long term for certain people and certain box heights are less effective in the long term for certain people. Because more effective or more optimal for what? So those are my thoughts on the reactive strength index. I just don't feel like it's worth putting in the time and effort for. Whether you agree or disagree, please comment below and let me know. Otherwise, thanks for taking the time to watch the video. Please hit like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time.